When I came into spiritualism some 35 years ago, I was a complete skeptic. And I certainly didn't believe the first medium that told me I would be a well-known psychic artist one day. I was an artist, but I certainly hadn't any idea I was psychic. But I went back and another medium told me the same thing. And, and I began to realise there was another life beyond this dimension that we are aware of. It's a very normal thing when you come to understand it. Many, many people are mediums and don't know it. And most of them are just like me, ordinary everyday folk. Sometimes they get very, very, very excited. And, and this man is a very speedy character. He wants everything done at the double one field. I, I couldn't do from memory, from memory, as good a likeness of my father as that is. In the photo, Tom's father was 30 years older. Even so, the resemblance was there. Did he believe in mediumship? Not really, no. I'm, I'm uh, sceptical. Well, I, I don't attempt to, um, to explain it at all. It's inexplicable. I literally feel as if I'm the person I'm drawing. Size, temperament, all of it becomes part of me and I try to put down what I feel like rather than anything that I actually see. Sometimes I don't even know whether I'm drawing a lady or a gentleman until I've got it on the paper. She had drawn over 60,000 of them in her life. The resemblance to the photos was striking. Now here I've got Obviously, somebody with a very gentle, kindly personality. She's a round, rosy-cheeked lady with a lovely sense of humour. She must have been one of these people who was a good cook. She's the sort of person that, um, particularly when you were a child, would have wanted to give you so much affection and love and she still does. Yes. Very, very beautiful. She's got such twinkly, beautiful eyes. Not big eyes, but eyes that smile all the time. When I first came into spiritualism, I wondered why we were the only religion that seemed to have guides. But then I realized that some churches call them guardian angels, some churches even call them gods. But God is not a person. God is a great creative energy. And these beings are God's messengers to us. My own guide, for example, I was able to draw a portrait of him before I knew who he was. And afterwards, I found a self-portrait that he'd done when he was alive that matched perfectly. Maurice de Latour a French portrait painter from the 17th century. You have to learn to keep your feet very, very firmly on the ground, trying to combine a balance between the spiritual world and the very material world. And this, I suppose, is basically my philosophy in life, to bring the two together in a perfect balance. Very often, heaven and hell don't start when we pass through the barrier that we call death. We can have our own heaven here and our hell. We create it. Nobody condemns you to any suffering. Nobody pays you for what you are doing. You simply create your own future by what you do now. Für ihr älter wurde, wurde er vielleicht etwas länger im Gesicht. Ja, das stimmt. That's right. And his parting words are, go home and be happy. Seine letzten Worte sind, geh nach Hause und sei glücklich. Then he will be happy. This is mein Bruder. 
For days now I've been comparing the pictures, but what impressed me most was the way Mrs. Polge described his character. The important part of mediumship as I see it is purely to introduce people to something far more advanced, far more spiritual. Most of the great spiritual teachers you will find produced psychic phenomena, gave the signs that people wanted. But there must come a time in everyone's progression where they cease to need those signs. As we come to the end of this age, into the Aquarian age, an age of change and new beginnings, then we shall all begin to develop that hidden talent within us and people like myself will be unnecessary. And if we follow our path wisely and well, then we shall all be our own medium. Death is a very, very beautiful thing when you understand it.